Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. We are going to talk about setting up WP Bakery for your Stockholm site. So, if you installed and activated the Stockholm theme, once you navigate to plugins in your admin panel, you're going to see a notice at the top that tells you about the plugins required for the Stockholm theme. And among them, we see the WP Bakery Visual Composer. So, I'm going to click on Begin Installing Plugins. Then, next to WP Bakery, I'm going to click on Install. Give it a sec. And when it says Plugin Installed Successfully, you can return to the required plugins installer. Now I can click on Activate. And with that, I've successfully activated WP Bakery on my site. So, now we can proceed to the Pages section and open a page so we can see our new page builder in action. This is what a page with WP Bakery looks like. We often refer to WP Bakery as a drag and drop page builder. What that means is that you can simply select and drag different sections and elements to position them on your page. You can easily duplicate elements, or more precisely shortcodes, by clicking on the little icon in the middle here. And you can delete the ones you don't need by clicking on the X icon. Let me put this back. If you want to find a new element to add to your page, click on the plus icon at the top. This opens a pop-up window that will show you a list of all the available shortcodes. You can pick and choose from these to add to your page. So I'm going to click on one just as an example. Most shortcodes come with a list of options, in a pop-up like this, that you can use to customize that particular element. If you've used WP Bakery Frontend Editor in the past, then what you see here might be a bit different than what you're used to working with. You should know that we disabled the Frontend Editor on purpose. That's because Stockholm comes with some shortcodes that have an advanced JavaScript functionality. These won't display properly in the Frontend Editor until you save and refresh the page. That's why we recommend using the Backend Editor, the one you see right now, for your editing work. All right. Once you've activated WP Bakery, you're going to see some options for it in your admin sidebar. Let's click on WP Bakery Page Builder and check out the available options now. Now in here, you will see some settings for the WP Bakery Page Builder. Currently, I'm on the General Settings tab. Firstly, we strongly advise against disabling responsive content elements. Just don't do it. Keeping this option on helps your content look good on different devices. What we do want to disable here is the Gutenberg editor. Gutenberg is the editor that comes with WordPress, but since we'll be using WP Bakery, we won't need it. So you can go ahead and tick to disable Gutenberg. And click on Save Changes. Now let's take a look at the Role Manager tab. In here, you need to set which post types you want to edit with the WP Bakery Page Builder. By default, it's set to Pages only. That means, unless you change this, you won't be able to use WP Bakery on, say, your blog posts. Let me quickly illustrate. Let's open a post. Any random post. We can see that there's just a classic WordPress editor. There's no trace of WP Bakery. That's because we haven't enabled it for editing blog posts yet. Let's go back to the WP Bakery settings so we can fix that. So, in Post Types, I'm going to select Custom from the drop-down. This will open several options we can tick. These are all the post types that are available on your WordPress site. What you see on your end might be different than what I'm looking at now. Depending on what your theme includes and the plugins that you activated on your site, you might have more custom post types here. That's perfectly fine, you simply have a bit more clicking to do than I. Just select all the post types you see and when you're done, head down the page to save the changes. Now if we go back to the post we looked at before and if we refresh the page, there's WP Bakery. Enable the backend editor and we can use it to edit our posts. Now that that's done, I can close this window and go back to the settings again. I want to touch on the product activation, so let's open the product license tab. Here it's asking us to activate the license for WP Bakery. Now WP Bakery comes bundled with the Stockholm theme. 
That means when you purchase Stockholm, you will receive a free copy of the WP Bakery plugin. This plugin will have the same core functionalities you'd get if you purchase a standalone version of it. There are some differences between bundled plugins and standalone plugins. With bundled plugins, you do not need to register them on their own. Registering the theme and activating them through the theme is enough. You don't have to do that extra step. On the other hand, with bundled plugins, you will not have access to automatic updates. Instead, once new versions of WP Bakery come out, we will include them with the next Stockholm theme update. So you will be able to update the plugin by updating the theme. And with each new version of Stockholm, you will receive the latest versions of the bundled plugins. So you can safely ignore this message. And that's it. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you would like to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comment section below.